Hello friends, welcome back to our course Math Essential for Machine Learning and let's continue with our crash course on derivative. Okay, and in this video we are going to discuss about how to find the minimum and maximum value of a function. Okay, so for that we'll take a small example. Let's say our function y is equal to x square plus 4. This is our function. Now if I have to relate it with our uh, square feet and the sale price uh, problem, then I can say that my sale price is equal to the square feet area square plus 4. I'm just trying to build an analogy between these two equations. Okay, And what I want to find is uh, the minimum value of this function y is equal to x square plus 4. Okay, so in order to do that, I, there are a couple of approaches that I can take. The first approach could be if I draw a graph. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And my, this is my y. And my expression is x square plus 4. This is my x, right? So if I take different values of uh, x, so if x is 0, then my y is 4, which is somewhere around here. If my x is 1, then it is 5 and if my x is 2 then it is somewhere around here 8 right okay and if x is minus 1 I could have taken any value decimal values but just for easy representation I'm taking like you know integer variables okay if x is minus 1 then I still get 5 and if my x is minus 2 I get 8 okay and my graph uh, somewhat looks like this Right? and this is the minimum value okay so I see that my minimum value is somewhere around here x is equal to 0 but then unfortunately machine learning problem will not let us do everything manually so we have to devise a technique so that I get this value x is equal to 0 from that technique rather than manually or visually looking at it and figuring figuring it out right and that's where we have the concept of derivative so what we do you know we have the expression f of x equal to x square plus 4 and the concept is if I take the derivative and, and wherever my derivative is equal to 0 that means even if I change my x my y doesn't change this remains fixed and this happens only at this location right uh, just to highlight it happens in this location okay so that means my derivative can be equal to 0 and when I equate that to 0, I can get the value of x and that I am doing it mathematically. Okay, So my expression is x square plus 4. So if I take a, remember uh, the derivative of x to the power n, the derivative is n of x to the power n minus 1, right? So even in our case, the derivative of f of x is equal to 2 times x plus 0 because 4 wouldn't change even if I change x. So that means that portion will be 0 and the remaining part remains as 2x. Now what I can do is I can equate 2x equal to 0 because remember wherever my derivation is equal to 0 and the equation of the function for my case is 2x equal to 0 and that gives me nothing but x is equal to 0. So something that we saw visually or intuitively I can also devise a technique using derivative I appeared at the same conclusion that if I derivative and equal it to 0 that is the point where my function has the minimum value now the same thing can be also applied to maximizing any function so that means my graph could have also looked something like this and here also the derivation is equal to the f of can be is equal to 0 and same way I can find the maximum uh, point for that function as well okay so derivative helps in finding us the minimum and the maximum and depending on the context we can utilize that way this is a very powerful concept and which we are going to repeatedly use in our machine learning algorithm all right so I hope you have learned something new today so please continue watching our videos and support us thank you very much